In this video, I'm going to show you how to design this uh, puzzle cube. Uh, the puzzle cube is going to be made out of uh, small wooden cubes, and it will be three cubes wide, three cubes in this direction, and three cubes tall. So uh, the puzzle cube is part of the uh, 4.1.P puzzle cube design challenge. And here are the constraints. So the puzzle cube must contain at least five parts. So in this instance, you notice that this uh, this puzzle is uh, consists of five uh, unique parts, shown here. Uh, each part must consist of at least four cubes. So the smallest part here is this here, the yellow one. Uh, it has one, two, three, four cubes in it. So uh, that's as small as they can be. They cannot be smaller than four cubes. Uh, each part must be unique, no duplicate parts. So if you look at my sample, all parts are unique. Uh, there are no duplicates. The other constraint is that uh, each part must be of, of a different color. Uh, but uh, this is the most difficult constraint to... Uh, the, in the optimal design, all but one of the parts will be constrained in two of the three axes. That's to say that all but one of the parts can only be removed from the assembly by pulling it out in one direction. So the, the purpose is that if you put the cube in your hand, uh, it does not fall apart. If you're holding it in your hand, it does not fall apart. It, so let me explain that to you. In this particular design, uh, take for instance the red part. The red part cannot be pulled uh, forward in this direction here uh, because the, the yellow part is constraining it and blocking it. Uh, likewise, it cannot be pulled out in this direction towards the back because the blue part is constraining it and it can be, can, and it's held in place. Uh, it can't be pulled off in this direction because the orange part and the green part are prevented from moving in that direction. Uh, the only way that this red part can come out is actually if you pull it straight out, normal to this space. Uh, so uh, in this case, it's constrained in uh, all but one axis. It can only come out in this direction here. So we're going to start out by uh, design doing what's called a layer cake, and I'll show that to you. We're going to use a program called Microsoft Paint. Uh, if you come down here to the, uh, the Microsoft icon and do a search, uh, search for paint, and you'll find it, uh, it's right here, uh, Microsoft Paint, this icon here. So you'll open that up. And uh, you go to your IED folder open it up and there's a, a file and they're called puzzle cube layer cake and drag that and drop it into a Microsoft Paint and uh, you could adjust the scale of this drawing by uh, sliding this bar here and so I'm going to uh, show you this cube uh, I'm going to color this this puzzle cube in using using paint I'm going to start out uh, by doing the red part so I'm going to choose the red color here. I'm going to come over here to my tools, and I'm going to use this tool here. It's a little paint can. Okay, you see you get a little icon of the paint can, and I, uh, I pick the red color. And you notice that the, uh, in the top layer, uh, these three cubes are red, so I'm just going to point to them and fill them in as red. And in the middle layer, from what I could see from the outside, uh, this cube here is red. So I'm going to paint that red. And from what I could see from this view, uh, these two bottom cubes are red, and the bottom layer are red. And there's my part. Uh, two cubes, one cube, two cubes here, and a third cube here. And uh, so going on further, I'm going to uh, 
color in the yellow cube now. So I'm going to pick the yellow color. And you notice that on the, the bottom layer, this one cube in the corner is yellow. Color it yellow. Going to the second layer, I have two cubes that are yellow. And uh, you can't see it from this view, but uh, uh, the way this interlocks, this center cube is yellow. Now I'm going to uh, uh, go further. Uh, let's me do the orange cube right now. I'm going to. Uh, you can see that these two bottom cubes are orange. I'm going to choose the orange color. And uh, this cube is orange, and this cube is orange. Okay, you see how it it all. It, so now I have three parts. I'm going to do the blue part. I could see that uh, this part is blue, and uh, these two top parts are blue. So I know how it's this part is constructed, and. Um, I know for uh, a fact, uh, because I designed it, that this part here is blue, and that part is blue, and so is this one. And, and the last part is green, choose green, and uh, see, so these three parts are green, I could tell that from this cube here. And uh, these two are green, and these two are green. Uh, so I made a mistake. So uh, looking at my, my design, uh, this part is orange here too. So uh, that, that makes the part interlocking. So here's my puzzle cube. And so you get the idea. You're going to have to create a, a, a custom cube, and the parts are going to have to be interlocking. And one thing you'll notice is that the parts, they, the parts have to be connected. That you can't have, you have to, you can't have parts separated from each other or just connected by an edge. You have to have a face-to-face -face, uh, mating of, of the parts. So in this case, you can see the, these two yellow parts are connected because one is right over the other. So once you're you've done filling that filling this out and designing your part, you'll use this side to design your part, and then you create a front view, a top view, and a side view. So I'll do the top view right now so you can see. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, in this case, um, I'm going to pick the green. These three cubes are green. Uh, you've done this in Inventor. You know what it, look, what it should look like. Uh, blue. These two parts are blue. This is your top view here. Uh, you have one orange right there, and you have three red. So you could fill out these th these other two views. Uh, so, so you're going to do your puzzle cube, and then when you're done, you're going to save as, and uh, put your name on it, append it with your name, And then let's save it as a uh, save it as a bitmap and a BMP file. And go go to uh, my documents and uh, store it there. Store it in your own folder in uh, my documents. Create a folder if you don't have one and store it there. Don't store it on the desktop or don't store it in the IED folder. And once you saved it, uh, you can. Um, Submit it to LMS to complete the assignment.